people i am bharat acharya welcome to our new video so in today's video we're going to learn 32 bit multiplication using 8086 this is a big program why do we need a program students say sir we have a mal instruction why can't we directly multiply of course we have a mal instruction but that multiplication is either 8 bit or you can do 16 bit multiplication keep in mind 8086 is only a 16 bit processor and here you want to multiply 32 bit numbers so there is no direct way of doing it you have to do it by a procedure now that procedure will take you back all the way to your childhood i hope you remember the childhood procedure of multiplying numbers you multiply these two then these two then these two and then these two and then you add up all of them surprisingly that method works even in binary form if you've seen my my whole video series while explaining mal instruction i've even taken an example and shown that this method works even in binary form so that's what we're going to do your 32 bit number is basically a set of two 16 bit numbers this is a higher word this is a lower word so your first number is pq your second number is rs so you're going to do q into s p into s r into q p into r and then you'll add up all of them your answer has to be 64 bits you understand that right 32 bit multiplication will produce 64 bit result 2 raised to 32 multiplied by 2 raised to 32 is equal to 2 raised to 64 so that's the idea okay so let's take our numbers let's say our numbers are stored in the memory at any location you can take any address you want to i have taken the address 20000 now 20000 you know is a physical address break it down it is basically 2000 and 0000 that's your segment address and offset address you'll initialize ds with your segment address uh, yeah if you've never seen any programming video then you'll be wondering what is going on if you know programming you know what i'm talking about you cannot directly use a physical address you have to break it down into segment address and offset address this is your data that means you want to make this area your data segment so you'll initialize ds with a value 2000 now this area becomes your data segment and you can access all these locations simply by their offset addresses so we will initialize si with 0 so basically this is location si this location becomes si plus 2 and so on si plus 4 si plus 6 si plus 8 etc now why so many locations are required how many bit numbers are we multiplying 32 bit number so your one number is 32 bit 32 bit means four locations two locations will carry 16 bits and another two locations will carry 16 bits so this is your first 32 bit number look here your first 32 bit number pq now pq in pq p is higher q is lower if you know the basics of storing data in the memory yes lower byte is always stored at the lower address higher byte is stored at the higher address this rule is called the little endian rule good so here you'll have q stored in two locations again why two locations because q is a 16 bit number so this is q this is p this is your first 32 bit number 16 and 16 are you clear then your next 32 bit number rs stored similarly that is s and r so 16 and 16 32 we're going to multiply these two 32 bit numbers the answer will become 64 bits now 64 bits means it will require eight locations 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 these are two locations each right 8 and 9 so this is lowest 16 bit of your answer then the next 16 then the next 16 and the highest 16 bit do keep this in mind there will not be any carry beyond 64 bits because like i said 2 raised to 32 multiplied by 2 raised to 32 can never be 2 raised to 65 has to be 2 raised to 64 so your final answer will be contained within 64 bits even if you multiply the worst case numbers f f f f f f f f multiplied by f f f f f f f f will give you f f f f f f f e 00000001 how did i get it don't bother about that i'm been doing this for 20 years anyway so that's what our program is going to be i'm going to first teach you the procedure the algorithm how to do it uh there is a difference between the way you do it did it in, as a, as a child in your childhood method and the way you do it in program there is a reason for it that involves carries so i'm going to first teach you the whole uh, algorithm show you how it's going to be done then we're going to be writing the program this whole side of the board will be required to write this program because it's going to be one of the biggest programs you've seen but trust me on this you're going to enjoy learning it in fact you will be answering the program halfway through it by the time we reach the midpoint you will be giving the whole program by yourself i've i've done it so many times in the class i know what i'm talking uh, once you finish this program you'll get tremendous confidence about programming how important is this program like any other program no one can guess which one is going to be asked in the exam but it's a benchmark program for an engineering student you should know how to do this once you know how to do 32 bit multiplication you also know how to do 64 bit multiplication then the same logic applies just the number becomes bigger and bigger anyway so we are about to start you know what i've been doing this is an introduction i <laughs> 
uh, the whole video will be available on my website. You know that, right? I have kept a few free videos on YouTube uh, for everybody to watch. But if you want to understand the whole subject, you got to come to my website, bharataacharyaeducation.com. The link will be given down below. All you need to do is enter the website, uh, log in as a user. It will ask you for a user ID and password like how any website does. Once you logged in, this program will be there in the 8086 channel. So select the 8086 channel. It will ask you to subscribe. Yes, there is a payment. Of course, this is not for free. This is not some. This is not my hobby. This is professional service. This is my job. So there is a price to it. But I've kept the price ridiculously low. Something that anybody can afford. At the same time, it makes this whole exercise viable for us. That we take out our time day in, day out. Keep shooting videos, editing, uploading them, using servers, etc., etc. So for all of that to be justified, there has to be an input to it. Otherwise, it will not make sense to us anymore. So anyway, I've kept a very, very low price. The price is 9.99. That's it. You make that payment and all videos of 8086. 8086 is the biggest channel. It has about 42, 43 videos. All videos will be available to you for the next six months. You can watch them as many times as you want to. Okay. Uh, hope to see you there. Wish you all the best. Do well.